Hi! So as you know, Black Friday and Cyber Monday are right around the corner, so it's the perfect time to learn how to create a countdown timer for your emails. So I'm gonna be using this, this email as an example, it's an old email, but let's imagine that I need a countdown timer for this. The first website is centric.com. It's very, very easy to use. As you can see, you have the home page and just scrolling around in the home page, you can get to what you need. So what you have to do is add your data, your email, when does the timer end? For example, let's imagine that this timer ends on September 26 at 12 a.m. Your time zone, and the language. So the only bad thing about centric.com is that you can't personalize that much. The only thing that you can change uh, in terms of design are the colors. So you can change the background color, the label color, and the digits color. The label would be like, for example, days, uh, hours, seconds, and well, the digits we know. <laughs> so let's imagine that I want a white background and I want black labels and digits. I would just click on generate and it's here all i have to do is copy this code and then i would go to my email and create a new text layer and in the source code i just have to copy this and there you go we have a perfect timer okay so now let's imagine that we want something a little bit more personalized that's where promofeatures.com comes in for this website you do have to create a login so you know you create your account, but it's still free. And then you click on create timer. Here you can choose from different templates that, that they have, and you can build your design from here. So let's imagine that I want to use this one. I select it and here I can personalize a lot more. As you can see, I can change the background color. I can change the text color. Let's imagine that I want black. I can change the decor color, the, the blue lines. Let's imagine that I want to use this screen. I can change the font size, the font family, for example, to Roboto. If I want it bold, italic, if I want it to be uppercase or lowercase, I can change all of that. And then here I would have to put a name to the timer, select an end date, select a time, enter a location and then this is very you know the most important part which is to select the time zone i think est is minus five in utc but i'm not sure whatever is an example so <laughs> don't use that when i think i'm ready i can click on save this timer the only bad thing about promo features is that you can't remove the brand copyright unless you pay so you know you would have to use it with this thing so once you clicked on save as you can see here's the screen it shows and now i just have to click on copy html and it's exactly the same process as i did before i would add a text block and in the source code i would add the code that the website gave me okay now let's imagine that this countdown timer is not for a campaign but for a flow and as you know in flows um not everyone is gonna get the email at the same time but they're gonna get it when they subscribe or when they do an action. So what you want to do for that timer is basically the same process in terms of design and everything. Let's imagine that this is what I decided to do in design terms. <laughs> and instead of using the standard settings, you're going to choose the transaction settings, which is an evergreen countdown that starts counting after you someone opens the email. So this is the perfect thing to use for a flow. And you know you would do basically almost the same process you would put the timer name select the amount of days that the countdown is going to count from the moment the person opens the email let's imagine that is one day maybe we don't want it to say one day maybe we wanted to say 24 hours so we can do that i think that's it you can disable for example days since you know in this case it's a 24 hour countdown timer and then you would do exactly the same process. You would save the timer and copy the HTML code, open your text block, or create a new text block, 
and just paste the code that you got. Obviously here you're not gonna see the difference, but the difference is that these two timers work as a campaign. So, you know, it's from the time that the email gets sent. And this one is for an evergreen flow. So it starts when the person opens the email. So I hope that helps. I hope this tutorial helped you and that you have a great season for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Bye. Want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you? If that's the case, let our team of email marketing experts show you how. With our free email marketing audit, we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts, provide you with an action plan, and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience. Simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today. Hey, if you're watching this and you like what you see, please hit subscribe and hit the bell because it helps us grow our channel.